Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. Peep game. All right, man. Check this out. All right, man. Alex Oriza did a very interesting interview in regards. He talked about uh, Triple G's team basically saying that Triple G's team contacted them asking David Better BS not to call them out. Alex Oriza said that they called Triple G about being a replacement for Canelo. And basically, they told them, no, they was not interested. So you could add David Better Be is to the list of guys that Triple G pretty much ducked. So there were plenty of options for Triple G. So that just goes to show you Triple G ain't going up to 168 because he knows he'll have to fight David Better Be is. And I don't think he wants them kind of problems because David Better Be is, is a tough motherfucker. So, yeah, that's basically what they're saying. You know, here's the thing, man. As I said before, Triple G fans are just like Lomachenko fans. I ain't even going to say Ser Sergey Kovalov fans because he don't have no fans. His last fight, they had tickets at the theater in Madison Square Garden for eight fucking dollars, if I'm not mistaken, the last time he fought. So, nobody cares about... Nobody cares about Sergey Kovalov. So he don't even have no fucking fan base. But anyway, yeah. That's basically what he was saying. He said that they was going to put their name uh, in the hat and they wanted to have their name drawn as a potential opponent for Triple G. And Triple G's team said, uh uh. They decided to fight, you know, a dude that had been sitting on his couch for basically two years. It just goes to show you Triple G ain't looking for no competitive fights. And Alex Ariza said that Triple G has lost a step or two. He isn't the same fighter that he was four years ago. And basically, he's not looking for any difficult fights. And he sort of hinted that Canelo is sort of doing the same thing. He's basically saying that Triple G and Canelo are sort of like protecting each other. Because Alex Ariza said, well, why can't... Why can't Canelo fight David Better Bez at a catch weight? He did it with Julio Cesar Chavez. Didn't he fight Julio Cesar Chavez at at pretty much super middleweight, what, 167 or something? 167 and a half or some crazy shit like that. So Alex Ariza is making sense on both parts. Look, I already told y'all about Triple G, man. The dude is is a fraud, man. He just further proven that he's a fraud. He don't want to fight no tough guys out there. You know what I'm saying? He ain't looking for no hard fights. Like I said, the dude ain't no Hall of Famer. And people going to have to tell the truth about this dude. He didn't fight anybody, man. Like I said, his best, his best fights were questionable fights. You know, against Daniel Jacobs. You know, Canelo and Dan... You know, he had a, a, a questionable win over Kell Brook, a dude who hadn't even ever fought at at middleweight before. That fight was a fucking joke. So, it is what it is, man. Anyway, I'm out.